Fiona Bruce. Yes, good afternoon, Lord Chancellor. Fiona Bruce, Member of Parliament for Congleton in Cheshire. And my first question is, given concerns about the increased risk of domestic violence during the lockdown, uh, have you given consideration to particular guidance in such situations so that people aren't afraid to leave a potentially dangerous domestic situation? Well, thank you indeed for that question, Ms. Bruce. And I think it's really important for us to uh, remind uh, uh, everybody out there, particularly the victims of domestic abuse, that uh, suffering in silence is something that uh, for too long many victims have felt that they've had to do because they've literally had nowhere to go, nobody to turn to, no support. And I think the You, you Are Not Alone campaign that the government launched uh, some weeks ago uh, has really epitomised the approach that we take. And I think it's an approach that enjoys the support of all political parties. Uh, and it's one that really sends a clear message out to victims that uh, if there is no choice for them but to leave the abusive relationship, then they will be supported. Uh, mm -hmm. And the Home Secretary's recent announcement about more funding, I think £2 million funding for a more telephone and uh, direct support um, uh, mechanisms for victims was a very important step. Uh, I'm actively uh, looking at ways in which here in my department we can do even more for victims of uh, domestic abuse, sexual violence and the uh, mm -hmm. abuses that sadly continue uh, and sometimes have got even worse because of the pressures of the confinement and restrictions that we are all under. And uh, we've seen the excellent announcement by uh, the government of the 750 million for funding for charities, in particular charities who work in the front line. And that includes charities and organizations that work with the victims of abuse, of domestic abuse. Uh, bids are going into Treasury to uh, access some of that important funding. And I'm working on plans here in the department to make sure that we can offer a package of support that means that. Uh, 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 not only do these organisations continue, but they also meet what we are seeing as an evidence of increased demand in some areas. So, for example, independent sexual violence advisors are seeing <laughs> and an increased complexity of case, very often from existing victims who are very anxious to, about the delays to their case being caused by COVID, but also new complainants as well who are coming forward with complex concerns. So we're recognising and seeing an, up, a, an upswing in um, use of the system, and we therefore want to respond in kind <coughs> by providing that all important financial support. It, it very much builds upon what I was intending and what I was doing anyway, uh, particularly with regard to the of the sector, but in the light of this emergency, uh, I see the problem as uh, one that has increased in urgency and therefore uh, we are working very hard in order to provide that support. Thank you for that very helpful clarification on, on a very important 